The name of this tutorial is Ira Krakow's Blender 2.49 KMZ file import tutorial. The KMZ file is Google's standard file format for models created in Google Earth, Google 3D Warehouse, and Google SketchUp. The goal of this tutorial is to show you how to import any of the many of thousands of models from the Google 3D Warehouse, Google Earth, or Google SketchUp into Blender. Why reinvent the wheel? It's highly likely that models such as background scenes and common objects like chairs and tables are already available in these programs. If all you want to do is use these as a background for your game or animation, why not import them into Blender? The secret in doing all of this is knowing how to import KMZ files. The KMZ file format is compressed, actually a zipped package of files which includes the model as a collada.dae file as well as the textures associated with the model. We'll use the World Financial Center model in New York City, a detailed model stored in Google's 3D warehouse. Blender can import KMZ files, preserving the textures on it with a Collada plugin. I will show you some tricks to get the model to render in Blender as well. First, let's see the model in Google Earth. This is a simple matter of telling Google 3D warehouse to show the model in Google Earth Behind the scenes, Google Earth imports the model in KMZ format, uncompressing it and flying to Lower Manhattan, displaying the model. Next, let's see the model in Google SketchUp. Google 3D Warehouse exports the model into SketchUp in SketchUp's native file format, SKP. If you know how to use Google SketchUp, you can change the model there and import from Google SketchUp into Blender using the KMZ format. In SketchUp, export the file using File, Import, Google Earth, KMZ. Okay, now let's import the model into Blender 2.49b. These are the steps you need to do. First, download the file as KMZ. Rename the file to zip. Unzip the zip file. The model is in the model subdirectory as a DAE file. Now start up Blender, run the Collada 1.4 import plugin by selecting import from the file menu. Then select collada.dae 1.4. You need to tell the Collada import where the model is. Navigate to the model and select it. Accept the default which is to create new scenes. It appears that the import was successful. But where's our model? The problem is that SketchUp and Google Earth models are based on actual measurements, feet, inches, meters, centimeters, etc., whereas Blender's is based on Blender units, which has no reference like that. You really have no control over the dimensions of an imported Collada file. The model may be visible immediately after importing into Blender, or it may not. However, there are techniques that you can work with in Blender to make the model available for your project. Let's look at our model. First, press the Home key, hoping to find the model. No luck, the model isn't there. Let's split the view to navigate around using the outliner. Split the view to make the window on the right the outline view. Note that the new scene, called SketchUp Scene, added the entire model as one mesh, called Mesh 1. This is a good thing, but it doesn't always happen. Sometimes the model is split into a number of meshes, which makes cleanup a bit more difficult. The problem is that our view is clipped too short. Select View Properties. Clip End, the end of the clipping area for the viewport, is too small at 500 Blender units. Set Clip End to 10,000, its maximum value. If that doesn't work, check the spacing value defaulted to 1. Bump it up to 20. Things are starting to get better. If we switch to Front View, Num1, we actually see a building which looks like it's part of the World Financial Center. Let's select the building. It turned out that the building is a mesh called Mesh1. Type N to bring up the Transform Properties menu. The model is at the origin, at its original scale. However, look at the Dim X, Dim Y, and Dim Z values. They're large because the model is scaled for Google Earth. The new scene does have a camera. In the 3D view, press N to bring up the Transform Properties menu. Note the camera's position, which must be somewhere over the Hudson River, I presume. 
Here are a few tips with the camera and the 3D view that can help you get the shot you want for the imported model. I'm switching to a view that I tweaked a bit that seems to work reasonably well. You can download the blend file that I came up with at forum.iracrackout.com or from my blog at blender3dvideos.blogspot.com. I rendered it as well, pressing F12. So here are some tips. Add a lamp and parent it to the camera. That way you'll have enough light no matter where you move the camera. Add a track 2 constraint on the camera. The best way to create is to create an empty and create the track 2 constraint on the empty. See my video. Scale the model down so its dimensions aren't so large. That should help in terms of appending the model to other scenes. You may want to add a world. In the blend file, since I didn't delete any scenes, you can add the world that comes with the default scene, or you can create another world from scratch. That can create a dramatic backdrop for the model. Decreasing the camera lens size will widen the camera's field of vision, making more of the model visible. Note how the camera's lens size was decreased from 35, the default, to 10. Display the model in textured mode, so you can see how it looks with the textures applied. Try a camera fly around. A simple idea is just to press Shift F and move the camera around. See my Blender fly around tutorial. Incidentally, the imported model with its textures displays fine in the Blender game engine. Press P to run the BGE, and you see it. Press Escape to exit the BGE. Finally, Google SketchUp has many simple components for commonly used objects. Here's a simple example. Start up Google SketchUp 7, delete the default person, Sang. From the window menu, choose Components. You can see all sorts of components. Select the bench. You can then export the bench as a 3D model. There's a link in my forum page for this video where you can see how the bench looks when exported into Blender. The bench is there, textures and all. I hope this gives you some interesting ideas for importing any of the thousands of well-designed and functional models from Google Earth. Google 3D Warehouse, and Google SketchUp into Blender. If you like my tutorial, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and to discuss this video at my Blender 3D forum. Happy Blendering!